and welcome back to the Coco Warcrafts YouTube channel again another week and today I'm doing another of the pattern of the month video and in this case in February is two patterns that I'm highlighting and that I want to you know remind you that uh, you can uh, find them on the Coco Warcrafts website and we, I'm going to talk today about the um, cinnamon trousers and also about the cherry culottes and shorts. So, because they are all trousers or pants, uh, however you call them, depending on the country you live in, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to just do both of them at the same time, in the same month, and also because I have more patterns than months, months in a year, which blows my mind. Um, but yeah, um, so that's why I'm doing both of them. And this is going, uh, this is what is going to be uh, um, this video about. So I'm going to talk about uh, the two patterns. I'm going to show you the samples and then uh, a little bit about the techniques involved that you might learn uh, if you're new to sewing, if you're a beginner. I think these two patterns are really great for beginners or advanced beginners if you want to, you know, go a little bit further on your uh, uh, sewing journey and uh, add a little, um, you know, a new technique or a, a few more techniques. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the video today. Hopefully you will like it and yeah, let's start. Okay, so let's start with the cinnamon trousers. I have two samples here, uh, two different options that we offer with the, or I offer, I don't know why I always say we, it's just me. <laughs> that I offer uh, with the cinnamon trousers. I really love the name because, I mean, I'm addicted to cinnamon. It's just like I put cinnamon on everything I can. Um, so yeah, I, I really love that name. Anyway, so with the cinnamon trousers, um, I offer two options. So you've got a close fit option with a certain size range and then a looser fit option with a different size range. This um, started because on the testing process, which was really challenging for this pattern, I think I've never encountered such a challenge, challenging um, testing process like with, with the cinnamon trousers. I, I reached a point in which I thought I was not going to release them because I was not happy with the feed. And I remember I went back to my graders, who are the, it's a company uh, in the UK, they do the grading, so the sizing. And I remember going back there and saying, please help me because I don't know what's happening with this, uh, with this pattern. And um, so yeah, it was, it was very challenging, but the pattern is there. So you have those two options and you can check all the details. I will leave on the description box, like um, all the information information about the pattern. Um, so I offer those two options and then you also have two different alternatives uh, with the pattern or even three. So yeah, let's say three. So you've got the uh, pattern here. Okay, so it's a straight leg. Um, even though some people have said that it looks like a little bit more like flared uh, at the bottom, but I think it's because when you add this optional ruffle, it makes it look as if it's more like a flared uh, shape, but it's, it's, it's quite straight. I, I really like straight um, trousers. Uh, I think they are more comfortable. I don't know, I, I think they, they were weather for me. So they, that's the shape of both uh, options. One is more fitted, the other one is a little bit looser. And then you have uh, patch pockets at the back, which are again optional. This sample has them, but this one doesn't. I'll show you in a moment. And then you also have at the back an elastic waistband because I thought, okay, I'm doing trousers. I want for people to, you know, be able to fit the trousers on them in a little bit easier way. So I thought that the back waistband would be like a good option for people to try and adjust there a little bit more the fit. It comes also with a side um, invisible zip on the side seam. You also have a slant pocket. You don't have a front fly. So I mean, that's why it's great for beginners. So you have the slant pockets. And uh, that's mainly it. I think that's you know like the the, the main um, bits on the on the trousers. And of course you've got your waistband, flat waistband at the at the front, so you don't have the elastic. And then the options that you have, 
to add to both the hem and the stand pockets is either a cute, super cute ruffle or you can also add that you can see on this sample, which I really love this sample, is little pleats. I mean, how look they, how, how look, how, how cute they look. They are so nice. And you can add them at the bottom as well. And of course, I think that that's why when you see this at the bottom and you see the trousers, it feels like they are flared, but uh, they are not really. And um, yeah, so those are the two options. And of course, you can avoid any of these and just go for plain um, trousers, or you can just do the pleats here or at the bottom. So whatever you wanna add them. And uh, this one again, elastic at the back. This one doesn't have the uh, back pockets because I wanted to do two different alternatives, the slant pockets and the side uh, zipper. So this is basically the cinnamon trousers. Um, I think they are really comfortable. Uh, I've worn these samples uh, quite often and I combine them with like a jumper, you know, like in winter, for example, or with a top if it's a spring. Uh, I think that also they are, you can make them a little bit more like office, going to the office type of thing without any of the, you know, little details or you can, you know, add those little details and just make your trousers a little bit more special. So yeah, these are the samples of cinnamon. And now I'm gonna talk about a little bit more uh, techniques and then about the fabrics that you can use for your cinnamon trousers. Okay, so regarding fabrics and then techniques. Uh, fabrics. I think this works so nicely in like a needle cord, uh, something that is not very, very bulky. So don't go for like jumbo cordura or anything like that. But I think, you know, um, this one would work really nicely in this baby needle cord. Uh, you can also use denim, uh, you can use cotton, for example. I use cotton for this one. I think that you need a fabric that can held a little bit of the shape, so not something very floaty like, I don't know, something very summery like double gauze or any of those fabrics. I don't think that would work as nicely. So I would go for something with more body, uh, like, as I said, denim, uh, cordura, you can go for some different uh, types of cotton. Um, and I think those are, you know, really nice fabrics to work with. You can also use twill, for example. I'm a huge fan of twill. And, uh, uh, yeah, the twill will help the, the shape very nicely and, it, you know, it will work, um, it will work great. So, uh, just to apologize, if you hear some construction noise, we have like all around where we live, lots of construction happening. So even though I try to film when that's not happening, I cannot do it all the time. So apologize for that. Okay, so yeah, those are the fabrics I think that would work really nicely with cinnamon. And also, uh, the techniques involved, I think that if you are looking for, uh, maybe you have them a more simple pair of trousers, maybe PJ bottoms, and you want to up your game, I think that cinnamon are great because you will learn how to do an invisible zipper. You will learn how to attach both like a normal front waistband and then an elastic, an elastic Sticked one at the back, and then you can also learn how to do a slant pockets, which I think they are super useful. And then you can also add, you know, contrast pockets just for you to see that amazing, cute fabric on the inside of your trousers. Um, so yeah, and then of course you will learn how to do ruffles uh, if you want to add them to your pockets or the bottom and pleats as well. So I think that is a great pattern to learn new techniques and just, uh, you know, uh, add them to your library of techniques that I, you know, that you have tried at least once. And then you can apply those to any other patterns and maybe then you feel more brave and you want to make jeans with a front fly so you can, you know, move forward and do all the things. And of course, if you're an experienced seamstress, these are just a piece of cake. I'm sure that they will be uh, perfect for you. And of course, there is a YouTube video with uh, all the process of making these trousers and I will, leave, uh, I will leave the link below as well so that you can go to that one and or maybe I can add it here. I have never done that. I'll, I'll see if I can do that. Um, so yeah, you can, um, you can do that and just check that video. And now I'm gonna talk 
about the cherry shirts and culottes which I think is one of my favorite patterns because it's so simple and if you're a beginner and you have never done trousers before cherries for you for sure okay so regarding cherry I've got um, two I there is a pin in here of course there is a pin in here I mean the, 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 the normal thing a pin anyways there it goes um, so with cherry you have two options you have the cherry swords and the cherry culottes so I made this um, summary version of the cherry culottes this sample ages ago and at the beginning they were the culottes version but then I trimmed them and I went for the shorts because I needed to make new pictures so a mm, whole thing these are so simple so so simple you have the option of uh, back pockets and uh, you have inseam pockets as well I mean you have you, you, you really need many pockets in life so the, the, the more the merrier and then you've got an elasticated waistband so mm, super simple and that's it and then you do the hem and your trousers are done these are like the most simple pair of trousers ever these are so uh, comfortable to wear which for me is super important with my patterns and you can uh, wear them all summer to go to the swimming pool to go to the beach to you know go on holidays and there is something that some of my testers have done and also customers and is add a little belt so you do the waistband and if you want to add something and you know to make them look a little bit cuter or uh, even on the waistband you can make create and so a little belt to add to to this so um, these are really nice and then I've got the culotte version I've worn this so so much and I use a jo jumbo cordura lilac I mean of course I think these are so comfy and of course these are for winter winter because this is jumbo cordura and when it's very very cold I, I even wear like tights underneath because the legs because they are culottes uh, I, there is a thread in here I just can't stand threads does that happen to you? I don't know if it's like a seamstress trade or whatever but I just can't stand seeing threads so um i wear them with tights underneath and then i put on a shirt and then a jumper and it's like my favorite look i think i have in my wardrobe this one i didn't add the inseam pockets because i thought that it was going to be too bulky uh, so i just added the patch pockets just to you know make them look a little bit different and yeah because they're cool out they are uh i think above the ankle not very very high but you know a little bit above the ankle and then uh, they are more uh, flared open so not a straight trouser is uh, is more open and these are so comfortable honestly I think that yeah I would wear this every single day and of course you can make them uh, in this fabric now I'm gonna talk about the fabric so you can make them cordura needle cord but then you can just go for any fabric for summer and spring for example which you know they are coming at some point in spring and summer even though we might not believe it right now at least in the northern hemisphere um so yeah and then you can use double goes you can use cotton lawn you can use cotton a linen oh a linen trousers and uh, i've got a pair actually but it's on my um spring summer little box of you know my my garments I've got a pair that I made years ago that I keep on wearing that I love and it's made with um, this fall, like um, how do you call that type of fabric is ah oh, yeah like a pleated fabric and it's super soft and summery I mean if I could buy that same fabric again and make many more I, I think I could um, so yeah and you can use so so many fabrics and it works so nicely for you know all year around i think especially maybe spring and, and summer but as you can see you can also make a version for autumn winter and maybe a uh, twill not it might not be the best fabric i was thinking about other uh, autumn winter fabrics but something that is thicker but with drape might work so maybe some sort of softer denim might work as well um so those type of fabrics you can go for more heavy weight like this but this one 
is 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 quite uh, drapey so in the sense of that you know it moves and it's not very straight and and not very hard or stable so you can go for um something like that as well and honestly i love these trousers so much they are super comfy and um the last thing regarding techniques for this one i mean apart from uh the side seam pockets and the patch pockets and creating a tunnel for your elastic waistband um there are not that many things going on so i think these are great if you are experienced seamstress and you just want to you know make a quick pair of trousers just to wear in summer for example um or, or shorts um, but if it's your first time making uh, trousers in general, I think these are amazing because you will learn those two things, but then you also will learn how to place one fabric on top of the other to create the front, to create the back, uh, different techniques regarding that. And then also if you have never done a waistband with an elastic, then you will learn that as well. So I think this is amazing for someone who maybe doesn't have the time to spend you know a lot of time making a pair of trousers and just want something quick and then for someone who wants to you know um make their first pair of, of trousers um so yeah these are honestly amazing and really really easy to make and i will also leave the link for this tutorial uh, from my YouTube channel so you can check that one as well and follow all the steps and I will leave all the links for both cinnamon and cherry there and basically that is it for uh, this month I just wanted to say you can also check the size ranges for these two um, patterns they are not on the new size range you know that on my last patterns I develop a new size range not for this because um, I have quite a few patterns and I have not been able to do that just with all of, uh, 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 of the patterns. So uh, hopefully for uh, 2023, at least the cherry, which I think are a little bit more popular than cinnamon and more people have been requesting that, I will try and uh, release that one on the new size range. And um, yeah, so hopefully you like this little video just uh, talking about the uh, February patterns of the month and I will see you hopefully uh, quite soon in March for sure for the um, March pattern of the month but I hope that I can do another so and tell or something at least hopefully I will be able to do a little video about my uh, quilt and the you know journey of the last quilt that I'm hopefully going to finish at some point soon um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and comment as well uh, if you want and just tell me, I don't know, any other things that you want to see from me. And yeah, see you very soon. Bye!